Welcome back to White Coat Medicine Talks. Today we are going to talk about osteoporosis. Now osteoporosis is when your bones begin to break down. This happens a lot of times in the elderly, but it also happens in other situations. And today we're going to talk about that and maybe some of the treatments that we do and how we test for this as well. I am Dr. David Cruz. I'm Dr. Carlos Ornedo. And welcome back. Yes, welcome back. Uh, yeah, this is some a problem that we see a lot in our office uh, and some of our can be younger women and uh, elderly women as well, but sometimes men do have issues right. with having good uh, integrity of their bone, and osteoporosis basically just means how strong your bone uh, is. Okay. So uh, one of the things that we want to focus is, is try to find out the, the causes of why people maybe don't have good strong bone, and we have uh, people that smoke, uh, that maybe don't exercise very, very much, um, that forget taking their vitamins, vitamin D and calcium are very important to keep your bones strong. Also, um, there could be family history uh, of having a small body frame that could affect you and lack of exercise. Exactly. So normally, routinely, you would think that as you grow up and you're getting older, you're starting to form bone and it's getting stronger. Now, there are some cir circumstances that it's not happening that way. And like you mentioned, thyroid disorder is one. If you have thyroid problems, you might have weaker bones as well. So you need to be checked for osteoporosis. Also, people that are being treated with uh, long-term steroid use. Steroids will decrease also your, your bone strength as well. And so you'll be checked for osteoporosis in those instances. There could be some uh, uh, gastrointestinal problems that people may have, or people that have undergone surgeries of their intestines, maybe a gastric sleeve or anything like that. And you'll probably get checked also for osteoporosis at some point. That way we can rule out that the, your bones are getting weaker, and if they're still strong, then you're doing great. But uh, the bone t density test is what mm -hmm. we use. Uh, and you want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. I mean, uh, you know, we have the normal production of bone, and you know, you have the nice architecture of bone. And uh, as we age, or as uh, Dr. Cruz is saying, that things can occur that can affect your bone, you have low bone density, meaning the bone is weaker. So this is the type of area where fractures probably occur the most. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a weaker part of the bone. And of course, as you progress and your bone is weaker, you get to the osteoporosis. Right. So the test that you'll have done is a bone density test. It's a very simple test. Um, usually what we do is we'll lie you down on the table. There's very low radiation used for these, so it's not a big danger. The person that's actually conducting the, the exam doesn't even have to put on any type of protection for this. Now, uh, you will get a picture of the hip and of your lower back and that will give us an indication of how strong your bones are. Um, and as you mentioned, you can go from normal bone to osteopenia, then osteoporosis. And a lot of times we will start treating when you're at osteopenia, uh, and then of course definitely at osteoporosis. But there are different medications that we can use for this, and of course your doctor will talk about those, but. Uh, very quickly, there's some medicines that we use. That yes, are uh, Dr. Cruz, some of the things that we've been around forever, um, as I said, the basics of everything is take your calcium, take your vitamin D, right? right? And so we've got uh, Fosamax, uh, has been one of them, the first one that's ever invented, I believe, and uh, can be taken once a week, but you've got to take it with an empty stomach uh, and a large glass of water to get it uh, moving through your system and you probably shouldn't lie down or just you know, sit around either. Maybe walk around for, uh, I don't know, a few minutes, I think, to yeah, I help think about it. about 30 minutes is, is about the right time. System. Definitely drink a large glass of water, sit down, don't lie down. Yes. And then after 30 minutes, you can definitely lie down or eat or do whatever you want to. There's also the uh, medications that are once a month uh, Correct. as well. Uh, Boniva, I believe, Boniva is, is once and Actonel, they both right. have come out once a month. And I think Basimax as well has had that. Right. And those and so are some, some of the things. Sometimes those don't mm -hmm. work and then we have to move on to other medications. Correct. And some of them are injectable once a year. 
Uh, right. And then some are once every six months. Oh, no. And there's other medications that are a little stronger that sometimes once you get a fracture, they will put you on that, like Forteo. Forteo. So, um, you know, these are some of the medications that they use. I think your doctor will go into more detail whenever he has to use any of these medications. But I think it's really important to talk to your doctor about when to get your bone density test. And any other comments you have on this? No, I think it's just important, like uh, Dr. Drew says, is uh, sometimes it's one of the tests that people forget to, to get done, you know. Yeah. And, but it's so important because uh, the amount of fractures that we see and that it can affect your uh, life in many ways uh, uh, is, is amazing. So be preventive, uh, take your vitamin D, your calcium, and the prescription that your doctor thinks that you need, uh, and just follow closely with your primary care. All right, thanks for joining in once again. Take care. Take care.